What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here to learn some math, so let's get our learn on. First off, big thanks to learningbird.com for sponsoring this post. Before you leave, subscribe. That's the most important thing. It's more important than spears, 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 spears or spheres, okay? So what we're talking about today are spheres. What is a sphere? Sphere. A sphere is essentially a ball, is the easiest way to, right here, hold on. Okay, so right here, I have a sphere. A sphere. A sphere. Sphere is how you say it. I've got a sphere. Ig ignore the metal part. But this ball right here, the Earth is technically not a perfect sphere, but it's a good example here. This ball that I have of the Earth is this perfect sphere. You see that? Okay. What a sphere is? It is a ball. It is a essentially a three-dimensional circle. Okay, you have your center, you've got your outside, and then however the best way to show that it's a sphere, okay? That's a terrible, looks like the center should be like right there, okay? So pretend that that goes all the way around, okay? That's a terrible drawing. Picture this in your head. Okay, so let me hit you with some properties of a sphere, okay? First off, a sphere is symmetrical. That means like, you know, when you look at a person, usually they're symmetrical. You look straight down the middle, it's the same if you folded the paper over half or half, the right side's the same as the left side, okay? That means you can turn a sphere, if I could take this ball out of here, you could toss it around, and it would be exactly the same if you cut it in half at any point. Everything would always be the same on the left and the right, okay? It's a perfect symmetrical ball. That's a sphere, okay? Now, the next property is surface is the same distance to the center. That means you can take a point on any part of the entire surface and it's gonna be the exact same distance to the very center, okay? It is perfectly aligned to where, it, say, like from the center to the edge is 10 feet. That means that every time you go from the center to one of the edges, you're gonna hit perfectly one of the sides of that. That makes it a sphere. If it variates from that, it's not a perfect sphere, okay? Next. There are no edges or vertices. That means you can, you can ow, smash my hand. You can spin it. See how smooth that is? That means there's nothing catching. If I did that to like a, cube, a Rubik's Cube, I would catch every time one of those edges hit. Okay, that means that there's an edge or a vertice, which is essentially a corner. Like on a triangle, you picture a corner or like a, a prism, um, triangular prism, like a pyramid. There are those vertices or where those, those angles happen. Okay, so there's no edges. And there's no, no vertices, which means there's no like pointy parts to it, okay? It's perfectly spherical, okay? Last, last property of a sphere, it is not a polyhedron. Polyhedrons are like, like Rubik's cubes or um, like a triangular prism, something to where all those edges and things happen. Really, if you know this, you don't need to know that because those are the properties of one of these, okay? So it's just, I mean, it's a perfect ball. Spin it. That's a sphere, ladies and gentlemen. That's a sphere. And now you know about it. Thank you for learning today. Check out uh, learningbird.com and also subscribe to tarveracademy.com. Really appreciate it. Give it up for spheres, everybody. Give them a clap. Give them a clap. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.